Yes, yes! Get in the air! Get in the air! This episode is sponsored by War Thunder. More on them later. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. We have a really fun project and also a fun adventure for you guys today. We're going to be heading to Missouri where we're going to meet up with John Overstreet and his son Jesse to build a P-51 Model D. They're going to be getting a head start on this project and starting with the fuselage. Our goal is to meet them in about the middle of the build and also have some fun with something called a Plane Crazy Build Day. More information on that later. If everything works out well, we'll be coming home with a P-51 Model D ready to do battle with our ME-262 and hopefully one of these planes is going to win or lose. Hey friends, as you know, Josh and Noah are making their way from Ohio to Missouri. I want to show you what I'm working on over here. So if you look at this pile of parts right here, this is going to be a great big P-51 Mustang. Look at the size of this. So right here, I've got the standard Master Series 48 inch Mustang. Look at the size of this. So over the next day or two, we're going to be getting this thing put together. You guys are really going to enjoy this build. So I hear you over here mumbling. What are you, uh, what you thinking? Um, I'm thinking I'm old and completely forgetful. Uh, what I'm really hoping is that I don't have to go back and watch my own video. It's been a long time since I built this plane. I think this is right. Um, I'd be kind of curious to see if this ends up looking like a P-51 Mustang. <laughs> this could be an interesting build. <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, what would be super handy right now is a third or maybe even a fourth hand. <laughs> Try to get these two halves together on the little ones is always a little bit of a challenge. Now we're trying to do it on the big one. Man, this is gonna be crazy. Ooh, look, an extra hand. Um, helping. Don't move. Okay. Oh, I got this. Just a little bit right there in the middle. Okay, nobody breathe. I saw your pinky move. Don't move. I saw that. <laughs> a few moments later. Uh, I kind of have a little problem here. This is not wanting to go in. Uh, you know, I've got a little bit of a crazy idea. I wonder, uh, if I could hammer that in. <laughs> because hammering it in seems like a really good idea right now. Ooh, we... I have the perfect hammer. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff there. Okay. All right. Why don't you hold the end? Okay. Yeah. Oh, just a little more. And there you have it. Oh, look at that. That was perfect. <laughs> So John and Jesse did a fantastic job getting started with this fuselage. So our goal now is John and I are going to finish off the fuselage while Noah and Jesse are going to work on the wings. So me and Jesse are actually working on this wing together and what we're doing is we're really beefing up these bars because we had a problem with the ME262 wings fluttering. You coming down? Very delicately. I don't know about these wings. Oh, they're flapping, bro. Then we want to do but slow. Yeah, they're, they flap. So we're doing the classic box bar. Now what a box bar is, is it's two pieces of plywood with two square pieces of poplar in the middle. Now this bar is extremely strong and now we're really beefing up these bars because we don't want these wings to go anywhere.
All right, so Noah just showed me what you just did here. This is incredible. Uh, we've been basically making fold over tails for the ME262 and the Stuka and a couple other planes where they have more of an airfoil. They're a lot stronger, a lot cleaner. Uh, we had to do a lot of bevel cuts to make the hinge line, uh, which meant you had to do some cuts later. Dude, you figured out how to make it where it not only does that, but it also makes a clean line. I had a moment of clarity. <laughs> moment of clarity, it's a yeah. moment of awesomeness. So, so basically what John did here is this is gonna get a double bevel cut. This is gonna fold around. And then the paper that you remove here gets glued in. And then this becomes the tab that the rudder will then grip, grip on to make a finished edge, just like you see here. That's incredible. All right, everybody, so while the guys are all down in Missouri building this giant P-51 Mustang, I wanted to tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is our friends over at War Thunder. So as you all know, we all love War Thunder over here at Flight Test. We've been playing War Thunder for quite some time now, and we've partnered with them on so many different projects. One of those being a giant P-51 Apache versus a tank. War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game that is free to play on PC, Xbox Series X or S, PlayStation 5, and the previous console generation for PlayStation 4. The cool thing about this is, like I said before, it's a free to play game. So you just download it and play. It has over 34 million players worldwide, which is insane. There's an incredible arsenal of more than 1,700 historically accurate playable tanks, aircraft, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s all the way to the 1990s. Another cool thing about War Thunder is that they have various difficulty settings for all different types of playstyles. So one of the best parts about War Thunder is the graphics. Along with those amazing graphics, you're also getting authentic sound effects and beautiful music creating an atmosphere to fully immerse yourself within the game. Now, as you can see here, we're working with the P-51D Mustang. Now, this aircraft is one of our favorite aircrafts of all time. Got a lot of rich history behind it. And one of the pieces of history that we kind of drew some inspiration from is the story of Chuck Yeager's encounter with an ME-262. He actually saw a well-disguised airfield down below. He decided to go take a closer look and what he found was a ME-262 coming in for final. He fired short bursts from about 400 yards and got hits on the wings of the ME-262. And as he flew by, he saw the ME-262 crash land about 400 yards short of the runway. So obviously Chuck Yeager's story is super inspirational, but the cool thing about it is, is that you can tie those historical stories into even playing a game like War Thunder because you can get in behind the cockpit. So you can go down in the description below, use our link and download the game for free. And also if you use our link, there's a free bonus for registering, which is a premium tank, aircraft or ship and a three day account boost upgrade, which is awesome. So again, huge thanks to you guys for watching. Without you guys, none of this would be possible. Now let's get back to Noah, Josh, and the rest of the crew down in Missouri and see where they're at. All right, so the airframe's pretty much done here. It looks fantastic, but we're not gonna put it together any more than what you see right now. I think we gotta scuff this thing up and add some paint. Definitely, and the paint job's gonna be really special here. Um, Chuck Yeager was one of the first Americans to take down an ME262, and he did it with a Mustang. He was truly the underdog in this combat. We're gonna make this plane look just like Chuck Yeager, so that way when we have our battle in real life, Hopefully it'll come out on top again. Ready to step? Let's do it. All right, so we are ready to paint this. The kids did an awesome job helping us scuff this thing. I, I want to have more kids out here. I need help scuffing. No they doubt. They did an awesome job. Now, Chuck Yeager's airplane was incredibly simple here. We have basically a red and yellow checkerboard nose. We have some invasion stripes by the scoop, and we have a red tail, and then the rest is pretty much silver and black, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to divide and conquer. I'm going to go ahead and spray the red on the tail, and you call this messy spraying, right? We just kind of... We're going to slop it on. It's, it it's going to look really bad before it looks good. So oftentimes the order in which you put the paint down really depicts on how you can paint off of things. You don't want to put a darker color down and then a brighter color first. So you always want to put it down the right order. I'll work on the red, he'll put down the lights, and then the silver kind of covers it all up and it gets a nice crisp line. So ready to do it? It's planned.
we had an incredible time in Missouri. Not only did we get to get most of the P-51 done, but we also got to build the wing for the ME-262 that's a little bit stronger and have an amazing time with the kids and families for the Plank Crazy Build Day. Our goal now is pretty simple. All we need to do is finish off the Mustang, get the electronics in, get the decals on, and we're ready to fly. All right guys, so we are here. We are ready to fly. Yes. It looks beautiful. Hopefully we'll keep it that way because when this is done, <laughs> if this flies good, we are on the combat. ME262 against Chuck Yeager's P51 Model D. I think we know who the winner's gonna be, but there will be carnage with laser tag this time. Laser tag. Yes. You ready to fly the beast? We're ready to fly. All right, bro. All right, Noah. Uh, we got the quad is up. I am currently on your face. Give me about like this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that looks great, buddy. You ready? Yes! Yes! In the air! In the air. Oh, I wasn't sure if you were going to hit the thing. Oh, man, that was crazy. Yeah, trim it out. How's she feel, Jay Bix? Good. It sounds like an angry Rolls Royce. Listen to that thing. <laughs> it is growling, to say the it's least. Like, that's not a good thing. That is a terribly balanced spinner, but I'll take it. I will take it all day, dude. Uh, I can't help this. It flies so good. I just got to... Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I said, this is a blessing. I got my one son filming, my other son chasing, and I get to fly a big P-51 with my best friend. Hey, now that is a good day, to say the least. That's Cruising right. Two and a half throttle. We'll let Mike get the, uh, get the glamour shots here. Don't push the limits. Love that. So the cool thing about monsters, they're not really meant to be fast. They're meant to be awesome and take up space. I'm flying in an area that should be flown by park flyers, and I can fly this monster all around. It looks incredible. It, it really is a much more scale speed, too. Yeah, and that's the cool thing about the big monster planes. Like, they just have better characteristics mainly than smaller planes, They right? do. They're gentle. If you can fly the, the uh, Master Series Mustang, this is no different. If anything, it's a little bit more tolerant on the wind. It's incredibly easy. Don't be intimidated about the size of your airplane. Give me that pad. Give me that low pass. Mm -hmm. Watch out, golfers. Da, 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 da. That looks like a real plane coming in, by the way. Wow, that's amazing. Dude, that paint job is oh, legit. Just, I love it. All Rust-Oleum 2X. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just amazing. peel this out here. I, I, I want to get one flight up, but we got to keep this in one piece because what we're going to be doing is an epic battle, but this time with laser tag. But it's not going to end up with, oh, you hit me, my color splashing. We're gonna have charges in the wings. The victor <laughs> goes to spoils. The other plane is going up in a glorious way. Yeah, I see. All right, we're gonna do a wing over here. Wing over. Oh, just like the real thing. Mighty loops. Yes. Yes, dude. That's awesome. How's she flying inverted, J Bix? Let's find out. All day long. All day, baby. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how long she flies. I want to do another slow, low pass. Yes. This is built with under 100 bucks in foam board. <laughs> Dude, that, that's intimidating to say the least. Let's, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Done. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that looks, that sounds like a real plane coming through. Oh man. So guys, a little teaser here. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter because we have some crazy announcements coming up. I tease it with the ME262, but big monster sized planes like this are gonna be reality in kit form in the future here. And I want you guys to subscribe because we're gonna be doing something that we've never done in the 10 years of history, a flight test. And I think it's gonna really be wonderful for the community. So please hit that subscribe bell, but also go to the link below. Make sure you hit our newsletter because that's how we're gonna communicate all these new updates. And there are a lot of them. Yes, indeedy. A lot right. of new cool stuff coming yeah. down the pipe. I feel like I should probably land it. Yeah, let's bring it on in, eh? Good lord. <laughs> I missed the runway. 
you missed I missed the runway. I, long, I never long, missed the runway. How long is our runway? Like 300 feet, 100 feet? 50 I don't feet, 25 like, feet. Yeah, anyway, we missed the runway. Maybe 100 feet. Missed the runway. It doesn't matter. Looks right. like it's green. One piece. So, it's all so we have more antics here. We're going back to the ME262. There was a bomber variant of this. Mm -hmm. And you guys know how much we love bomb drop challenges <laughs> and how terrible we are at them <laughs> as well. So we are going to bring back the ME262. We got a beefier wing we got to build for it. And ultimately, we're going to put it to the test. And then later, Chuck Yeager, ME262. We'll see who wins. Battle to the death. Yes. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell. Thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you next time.